Hey, paper dolls, it's Madeline. Welcome back to my channel. So today, we are really gonna get started on making our tall wallpaper um, skinny journal, document journal. And so if you missed the end of the last video, um, I kinda just did a quick flip through of our prototype. And um, I'll just do another quick flip through. And I went into my stash and pulled out some of my um, authentic vintage French ephemera and some other little goodies. And um, just did a quick flip through. And so today, I thought together we would get started on making, um, going through the steps and making one of these beauties. So I'm just very happy with how this turned out. I've never done a journal that's exactly like this. Um, but it was requested to me by Linda. And so thank you for the suggestion, Linda. And, um, I do write down all of your suggestions and I promise that I will get to them. And if I forget, just leave me a comment, remind me, cause, um, you know, I want to get to everything. So at the end of the last video, I showed y'all this gorgeous, um, wallpaper and it's actually, can y'all tell it's been embossed? And I get this embossed big paper from uh, Ramona over at Junk Journal Creation on Etsy. Um, she has an awesome, awesome shop. I'll link it below. Y'all should go check it out. But anyway, and so all I did was went to my sewing machine and I just stitched the two ends together and folded it in half to make our base for our wallpaper journal. So, um, yeah, we'll just get started here. I also went in and um, measured, or rough measured, and did a pocket for this. And so I thought we would just um, start out by gluing our pocket down, okay? And I'm gonna try to do as much of this, I have on here, inside pocket, um, without a sewing machine um, as I can, just cause I know not everybody has a sewing machine. But I really did want to um, sew the top and the bottom just to really, you know, give some good um, robustness to our journal. So, all right, I'm just going to glue that in right there. And then I'm going to go along the bottom and put a bead of glue here and up the side like that. And I will go back later and um, trim off the overhang, which I always kind of like to have a little bit of overhang when I'm gluing. Um, I'd rather have that than it be too short. So let me go ahead and glue this here and up the side. Okay. And then we are going to put this to the side and let this dry and get good and dry. So when we fold it, we'll be able to work with it. All right, so we're going to put this to the side. All right, let me cap my glue so it doesn't dry out on me. Okay, now, when I was doing my prototype, I um, put pages in, took pages out, and this is the formula that I came up with that worked best um, for me. And I've got one like kind of a full page, I've got a doily, I've got a pocket page I did sew together, top and bottom. I have a printable page, a page from a um, authentic vintage French magazine. I have a glassine bag or craft bag, some authentic um, French ledger, coffee dyed paper, and a piece of lace. So when I was um, doing my prototype, this is what I figured out to be the perfect Kind of combination so with the piece of lace it's one two three four five six seven eight nine it's nine items one of which is a piece of lace and then i call this like two halves two half pages okay and um so now i kind of want to go through and put this in the order that i want it in because i'm thinking our next step will probably be to bind this guy and then we can start doing some uh, decorating. So I just love this stuff. There's this um, Etsy shop that I get my French ephemera from. She actually lives in France. If y'all want that information, just um, leave me a message and 
I will put it in the description box. But anyway, yeah, I'm not really mad at this layout right here, actually, how I had it. Because yeah, I kind of like to space my pockets in between pages or whatever. So, okay, yeah, that's good. So let me get out my binding kit here. And let's see. Go this way with it and make sure I have everything just how I want it. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm gonna do my little paper clips. And then um, with this journal, I actually on our prototype, let me grab it again. Um, I did a five hole. I don't know if you call this a pamphlet stitch or not, but I did a five hole here. And it's not something I do often, but I just thought with how tall this was, I wanted to go for it. And I also decided to keep my ends on the outside. I just thought that looked pretty. So um, that's probably what we'll do, or that is what we'll do with this one. Okay, let me fold this in half here. There we go. All right. And let me just put this in here. See how this looks. Okay, okay, I like it. And our paper clips. Like that. All right. Now, excellent, we're ready to bind this guy. So let me get my um, mailer full of foam. And again, since it's just a one um, signature, I just eyeball it. You don't have to eyeball it. There's plenty of tutorials out there on how to um, make a very specific template, but I just eyeball it if I'm doing the one signature. Okay, so I'm gonna do one here. Okay. And then, Let's see, we'll do one here, and one at the top, like that, and then we'll do one in the middle of the two there, and one in the middle of the two there. Okay, great. And then, let's see, I've got some floss here, so let me grab a needle. Okay. Let me just grab this one out and thread it. And all right, y'all, I may mess this up because I don't do this often, so I'm not the best at it, but we're going to try this together. Okay, so I'm going to go in. Normally, I go in through the inside if I want my ends to end on the inside, but I'm going to go in through the outside because I want my ends to end up on the outside. And then I am, let's see, I can't remember... I think I go here. We're gonna try this and see. To the middle, and then to the bottom, or the middle of the bottom holes, I guess I should say. And then we're gonna go, I guess this is correct, back in through this one here. Yeah, all right, this looks right. And then, okay. Let me give myself some more slack here. Let me get rid of this. We don't need our phone envelope anymore. Okay, and then let's see. We're gonna go here to this one. All right. And then we're gonna go to the top. All right. Then in through this one here. And there are tutorials. You could Google this, um, you know, if you want to do this. Um, you know, actually, I found an image somewhere that shows exactly how to go about it. So, I actually have to look at that, Google that image every time I get ready to just to remember exactly what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Now, and again, you want to end with one of your strings on either side of the middle string, just like it were in the middle, but we're on the outside. Okay, let me pull my paper clips up. All right, and then let's get this all good and tightened up. 
Okay, that looks good and tight, y'all. That looks pretty good. All right. So now I'm going to flatten this guy out like this and do a double knot like that. Okay. And then another knot. All right. Okay. Looks good. Now I want to leave these long because um, I think we'll probably go through and do some beads at the bottom. Okay. And there we have it. We have bound our journal. I just think that's so fun to have these on the outside. Okay. Y'all, that came out well. Okay, let me get my little binding kit put away. And we will take a look and see what we got going on here. All right. So... I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and I'm going to trim this little pocket here just a little bit. All right. Um, there we go. Now let's trim this pocket here a little bit. Okay, got my garbage can. Okay, great. Now, all right, love it. This looks good. Okay, so now I think the next thing we should try to do is decorate our cover. And I have already pulled some things I think might be good to decorate our cover. I have this little journal topper. Um, that I got in a pack from Ephemera that I ordered from Jessica at Paper Terrace. I also have some of these really beautiful um, lace collar pieces that I ordered from uh, Neri's Laces. And she's also on Etsy. And I just think these are so pretty like that. And then have this sort of Maybe nestled in the middle like that. I don't know. What do y'all think? And then I have a little rose here that I may or may not use. Oh, that could be kind of cute right there. As a kind of like where the closure should be. I'm not sure. Okay. I do like where this is going though. So um, let me see if I have a little bit of... Well, I was going to look for some ink, but now I don't know that I want to do ink. I think I just want to go ahead and commit and do this because I was very, very happy with um, these also came from Neri's Laces. And I was real happy with how that came out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, um, you know, we'll have this and we can either glue it or we can have it on the side like the other for the recipient to put or... Whatever, but I do want to go ahead and get these glued down. So, let me grab, grab my fabric tack. Okay, where are you, fabric tack? There you are. Y'all, I just had to order some more fabric tack. <laughs> I go through this stuff like crazy. It's nuts. Mm, looks like I'm about to have to refill my bottle, too. Okay. So when I'm doing this, um, I typically just start out kind of dotting glue on the larger areas. And then, you know, I always go back and secure it down. But just to get it kind of basically tacked down to start, I just go through like this and do a little bit of tapping with my glue. And then I'm going to turn it over. And here we go. Oh, I just love that. That looks so good. I love that. I love it. You know, I need to, maybe I will get out my pink ink and do a little, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that in a minute. I keep change, going back and forth on that. Okay, so let's go down here to this one and kind of do the same thing. We'll just get it tacked down. Okay, 
I just love the way it frames the cover of these kind of, I guess they're sets, collar sets. But um, yeah, it just looks so good to me. Let me go ahead and get some glue on this guy. Tack him down. There we go. A little here. Okay. There we go. I love it. It looks so good. All right. Give that a really good press down. Okay. Okay. Love that. Love that. That looks so good. And then, I don't know what to do, y'all. Like, I love this here, but I just can't decide. All right. Let me get my ink out real fast. And, of course, this was not planned. Of course, like, I'm going totally off script like normal. But, um, let's... Let me grab my ink and see what kind of colors I have to maybe put a little color on um, this guy. There are my little daubers. Okay, here, that may be good. Get that little brush out. Okay. Let's see. All right, let me look at my ink. Let's see what we got here. Okay, that's kind of pretty. Oh, this one may be pretty. This is Victorian velvet. I could probably use a new one of these. This one's a little bit, um, I've had this a while, but oh, I love this color. Yeah, I think I've just, decided, I think we're just gonna do that. Okay, um, let's see, let me grab, I was gonna say, oh here, let me grab a piece of scrap paper just so I can, um, Okay, that's good. Um, let's see how I like the color. Okay, all right. Okay, let's just start here. Add just a little bit to this guy. Okay. Oh, pretty. Can y'all see that? Oh, I love that. It's just giving it a little bit of, a little bit of shade to kind of make it pop out a little more. so cute that's so cute okay yep all right we are just going to leave this out to the side in case we want to use it for other things because i bet we will want to use it we get to making our ephemera okay great all right that is awesome i still don't know about this you know what i, I can let y'all decide maybe y'all tell me are we going to put this or not? Y'all let me know down below. What are we going to do with this guy? I do love it. And I feel like the cover needs something else. I'm just undecided, like I said. I do like it, though. Should I just commit? I think I'll just commit. I think I'll just do it. I'm just doing it. I am just going to do it. Okay. Let's see. Do we want to layer something behind it? Maybe... Let's see. Got all this pretty lace here. Do I want to like layer? I don't know. I could sit here all day and do this. It's so fun. You know what I might do actually? Let me cut this in half. All right, let's see if this works. Maybe like have some peeking out here. And maybe a little bit more peeking out there. Oh, I don't know. That maybe is too busy. All right. We're just going to go ahead and glue it down. 
And if we want to come back, we'll leave it alone. We'll have, we have our flower. Whoops, we have stuff. We can add to it later. But we are just going to glue the topper down because I do love this topper. All right. Come on out, glue. I'm filming this on a Monday morning. It looks like my glue is having a case in the Mondays, too. Okay, put a good amount of glue on this because it's going to be, you know, our topper. Okay, and let's get this centered on here as best we can. All right. Okay, pretty. Yeah, I love it. Oh, it's so good. I love it. This came out so pretty. Crafting on the fly. That's becoming my theme, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Love it. Love it. So cute. All right. Now. Give this, let this sit here maybe just another second and dry. Um, the next thing I really wanna do is I have got a bunch of trims and laces and things and I really wanna um, go through and trim the edges and also maybe think about a closure. I did put a closure on this one, but I put a lot of lace on the edges, which I think is like such a fun thing to do in journals like this. It's got such a pretty look on the side. Um, so, okay. Yeah, that looks so good. Okay, so I have gone ahead and pulled, um, lots of different trims and laces. And let's see, what do we want? Do we want to do a closure? I might have to pull some other, something longer for a closure. Like something like that could be kind of pretty. For closure, but I think I want it longer. Let me see. Hang on. Let me grab my lace. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Maybe like, what do y'all think about pink lace? I have like a long piece of something pink, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Um, I have this here. This could be super pretty. Look at this. Yeah, this would be really pretty, and I love this wide lace. It's so versatile um, because you can, I like to trim it to make it skinnier. You can leave it thick. You can use it for decorating. I just love wide lace. It has such a multitude of uses. Um, okay, let me trim this down a little bit straighter. Okay, great. Save your scraps. Okay. Let's see. If I did like that and then that or this I don't want too thick a closure let's trim this and see okay I'm gonna trim off this end here here to here okay Okay, there we go. Oh, that's pretty. I do like that. Okay. That is super pretty. I love that. So, is that, well, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and maybe glue this down. And um, we'll do a little bit. We'll do here, and then we'll do it over here. And what I think, what I think I want to do is 
grab, let me grab some scrap of wallpaper, some scrap paper or something um, out of my box over here. And what I think I want to do is um, just to kind of help secure it, because I'm not going to stitch it, is get a little bit of scrapbook paper and maybe create on the inside, kind of something like that on the inside, just to keep it like good and secure. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking about this as I'm going. So let's just try it. And if it doesn't work out, you know, we'll just try a different way. Okay. So I want to do this like that. And where is my good old Fabri-Tac? Okay. Okay. Now I want to be careful because I don't want to get so much on here that it like is bleeding out, you know, coming out the sides and we lose our pocket. Um, Okay, and then, whoops, we're going to go in here, and I like to center closure a little bit towards the top, um, just because I think it looks good to have it a little bit, if you know, not perfectly center, which is hard because we are not perfectionists. <laughs> okay, let me flip this over. Okay, and let me give this a good press. Oh, that kind of worked out. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that in there? How that, how that's doing? Okay. Anyway, give that a good press. I don't have any glue oozing, so that's good. And here we go. All right. Let me just press this down really good. Make sure it adheres well. Um, that is cute. That is working out. Love that. Okay. So now let's stay with the other side. There's my glue here. Yeah, I definitely have to refill my glue. Come on out, glue. just kind of guesstimate. Here we go. Where we're gonna put this, like just try to kind of get it lined up just using my eye. All right, and that looks about good. So let's press this down. Okay. And then let's open it up, look over here, look on the inside. You may want to fast forward it part again. <laughs> it's like watching paint dry. But it is important, I think, when you're making a journal, especially one that you may give away or sell to make sure it's good and secure and, you know. All right. Ah, yeah, that's so cute. That's going to be so cute tied up. All right, y'all, love this. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so back to, <laughs> we were talking about trimming out the edges before I got all um, caught up in the closure. So I have, we have a little bit of blue here. So I have a little bit of blue. I've got pinks over here. Um, I just went through and pulled some of my, you know, stash. And I have this. I mean, this is like this really old kind of antique-y. I think that's so pretty. So let's just go through and pick out some pretty laces. On this front page, I do sometimes like to have a little bit of an overhang because I think that, see how pretty that looks. So let's find something that, oh, that's very pretty too. Let's maybe do that one. Ooh, I do like that. See. Yeah. Or 
not, oh, actually, let's change your mind a hundred times, Madeline. I do like that one because it picks up the blue. Okay, let's do that. All right, so I think, I can't decide how I wanna do this. Let me get a piece of my wax paper. I keep wax paper on hand for when I'm gluing, just to make sure that like pages don't get stuck together or stuck down or anything like that. And then, let's see. Let's go ahead and maybe even though it's not very, it's not cooperating that well, let's go use our Fabri-Tac. I do have my art glitter glue here, but let's go back and use our Fabri-Tac. Come on, fabric tack. Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of put a bead of glue right here. And again, I don't want to over glue. I don't really want it seeping out of the edges, but you know, I do want it to be good and uh, this the lace to be good and secure. And so let's do that kind of there. So it's peeking out. Oh, cute. I do like that. Cute. Okay. Alright. And then let's trim our ends. Again, hang on to your scraps for making ephemera. That's generally why I make a lot, most of my ephemera. I make a few things as I go along, but mostly I make it at the end because, um, you know, I love to use my scraps. Yep, okay, that looks great. So, I'm gonna take my piece of wax paper, I'm gonna move it over here, all right, and then open that up so it will dry on that and not on, you know, our cover. Perfect, okay, so moving along. Let's see, what are we gonna do with this page here? Ooh, that's so pretty. I think we should do that in the mirror. Okay, let me grab another piece of my wax paper. And again, a lot of times I would glue this, but I really try hard to do tutorial. I mean, so rather, but um, I do, to, I like um, to try to do tutorials that use, you know, more glue. Not everybody has a sewing machine or knows how to sew. And, you know, I really want everybody to be able to, you know, make, you can choose, sew, glue, whatever. Okay, gorgeous lace. Again, Mary's laces. I'll put her info below. So pretty. That's so pretty. God, I love it. Okay. Let's trim this bottom here. There we go. Beautiful. Let's give that another press. Okay. Now, this is already dry, which is fabulous because I love that about fabric pack how fast it dries. So, we're going to just move this one forward and keep on going. So I think later on at some point, I'll put a decoration here, um, but let's just move on and keep doing our edges because they are looking really pretty. All right. Um, you, yeah, let's do that one here, but I think I want to take this piece of um, linen off. So I think what I might do is see if it'll tear to get kind of a, like a more frayed edge. Oh, that did, oh, hey, that did great. Look at that. Oh, that did great. Okay. Yep. I love that. Love it. Okay. Hang on to this. And I think what I may do with this one is maybe make a little pocket by gluing here. Then down like that. Right here. Okay. Nice. I love this, y'all. It's got dragonflies on it. Some really old vintage lace that a friend 
gave me that she no longer needed. So, stick this on here and give it a good press. Pretty. Okay, trim our edges. Uh, love that. That looks so pretty. Okay. So now, whoop, let's check this. Yep, that's pretty good and dry. So move on. Excellent. Okay. Now, what are we going to do here? Um, maybe do a pocket. I actually kind of like maybe on the other side oh we could do this this is pretty we could do this or 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 i have this really pretty applique you maybe we'll do an applique on that page let's see oh that's pretty too oh let's do this i actually love this trim that's really really pretty yep let's do that let's see we want it to face out um, I think we do. So, let's see. Okay. It's a little fiddly, but it's so pretty that I'm not mad at it. Okay, so that. All right, I need to stop putting my glue straight up and leave it on its side, y'all. <laughs> We're going to be here all day. Okay. Although, I do feel like we're getting um, a lot accomplished on uh, this journal. I mean, we got the cover done. We got it bound. We are doing, they're decorating the edges. Um, so, yeah, I'm very happy with how this is going. All right, there we go. Yeah, see how pretty that is? I just love it. Love it, love it. I don't know, lace makes me so happy. I love working with lace. It's so pretty. Okay. All right, whoops. Keep getting stuck. My lace is sticking to me over here. Okay. Pretty. Love it. Okay, let's see. Is this dry? It is. Let's move our wax paper like that. And whoops. Okay, excellent. All right, and now we have come to this pocket. So I'm not going to add lace. I might come back later and do a, a tab or something, but I do want to put a little notch right here in the pocket. So yeah, do that. Good. All right, turn the page and then we're to our center signature. Okay, nice. So let's put something there. Or do we want to put something there and there? Maybe we'll do that. Okay. Maybe we will do that. Actually, let's see. We could go back and this would be very pretty if we did like a strip on either side of that center page, wouldn't it? Okay. Yeah, we're going to do it. Let's just do it. All right. Very pretty. Okay. And then we will go on to the second half. And okay, pretty. Now I don't know if I want to make that a pocket. Let me trim some of this. If y'all can see, it's got some edging on it. Let me trim some of this off. Okay. And yeah, that's, that's cute. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the edge here. I'm going to go down like that on the edge here. Okay, let's see. Okay, pretty. Okay, nice. All right, and 
trim this end off. Okay. I'm sorry, let me grab a drink of my iced coffee. I love Mondays. I take um, my ninth graders and carpool to school. And I go by the Dunkin' Donuts, and on Mondays, every time, every Monday, Dunkin' Donuts is like, Marble, and come here and get a coffee. <laughs> I really do like their coffee. It's kind of my Monday treat. Help me get moving. Moving on a Monday. Okay, let's see. All right, that is dry. Wax paper over. And do some glue here. Whoop, see, another good reason for that wax paper. You get crazy with your glue like I just did. You're not getting it on the rest of your, your journal. Okay, let's put this the correct side up. Oop, God, I almost put that backwards off. Oh, okay. Um, like this. Okay, very good. Cute. And then, honestly, you could have a tiny little tuck spot there if you wanted to. It would certainly hold. But I just think it looks pretty. But it could be useful for a little tuck as well. We'll see when we get to the decorating part. Oh, my gosh. This is looking cute, y'all. Look at that. Let's set that out. Okay. Oh, this is looking so cute. Okay, now, are y'all are y'all just like bored to tears yet? Um, let's do this here. Put a little notch. Okay, good. And then let's see what we have left. We've got this two, three, maybe four more to glue. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue my lace on these last four pages, okay? Beginning of next video, I'll show you what I did and then we'll continue on. So um, I hope y'all have a great day. Talk to you soon, bye.